Hello, this is Hook by Happenstance, and I'm Kendra, and it is Sunday night, and it's only 10 o'clock. I know, who's proud? I'm a little proud. It is time for my Sunday sunrise. For those of you that are new, my Sunday sunrise is my solution to New Year's resolutions, where rather than making a bunch of goals in January, I decided that weekly goals were a better plan, so I make a tiny list, give or take, with a big marker so I can't overcommit too much. And then I try to follow through, come back every week-ish, and see how I did on completing the tasks I set up for myself. So last week's list is right here. I did not cross things off, but we'll just chat through and see how I did. The first thing was to make a hat. Oh, that's right. The goals on here were primarily to fill up my bingo board if you did not know, I do a thing over, well, it's free, but it's available on my Patreon page called uh, Let Peachlet Play Bingo, where Peachlet, my five re doppelganger, and I come up with a number of challenges, I guess, that different projects could fit into, and throughout the month, you can work on things and fill out uh, your thing, and then you're eligible to, uh, to receive a free stitch marker with purchase from my online shop, or you can just play for funsies. And I have kind of challenged myself to try and get a blackout every month because I did it last month. And I'm calling it this month that I did it as well because in the bingos, you do not have to complete the projects. You merely have to work on them. Now, I try not to cross them off until they're completed until the end of the month when, you know, I come down to the wire and then I'm like, oh, things that I worked on are just fine. But I try to see how far I can get without doing that. So this list were all things that I needed to do to complete my board. And I did consider my board completed um, a couple of the things were not finished finished and some of them were only worked on but I, I got enough done that I feel good about calling it a blackout for November. Anyways, the first thing here on my list was to make a hat. I did. I actually made a hat in like two thirds. <laughs> I think I might have enough scraps to finish the second hat. I was making a hat for an adult and I was trying out a pattern that I had written with a different yarn. I was substituting. Anyways, I made a hat for my kid which is totally fine. It looks super cute on him and it fits really nice, but it was not my intent. So I took the rest of the skein of yarn and the balls of scrap that I had and started making another adult hat. And I think I'm gonna run short. So I was gonna buy more. Well, Joann's by me no longer carries Red Heart Soft in store at all. No Red Heart Soft. Look, what's the deal with that? So, I, uh, I may have to order some if I want to do this. I think I'm just going to make do with what I have. And I think I might have some more scraps hiding somewhere. I don't know. It'll probably be an okay size. I just need to, to finish it. But I did finish the one hat. And that is all that's required. So I'm considering that a win. Next was to make a doll. And I was making this doll because somebody had requested they wanted to purchase one. So I've been timing myself while making the doll because... Um, I kind of want to know how long it actually takes me because I know that I had been underselling my toys at craft shows and stuff when I had been selling at shows. I'm no longer selling at shows because I'm no longer willing to undersell my work. You shouldn't undersell yours either. Just, you know, putting that out there. But I'm timing myself and I realize that you're not going to get like an hourly wage. But I'd like to know like what I'm looking at. So I've completed the head. And that's it. And then I got onto other things and toys take counting and I have not had a lot of time to sit down by myself in a countable environment and make things. So I need to, uh, to do that. So that did not get finished. Finishing my secret project. I did that and I'm so excited and it counted for my make something make you say good gravy because good gravy. It was amazing. Um, I did not, however, I have not woven in the ends on my secret project because it is a design and it is a design in progress and I'm going to be making another couple probably to figure it out and I don't want to weave in all the ends and then find out that I want to make changes and then can't to this particular version. So I'm leaving my ends till I do the next one and then I will weave them all. So I'm just putting off work till later, but I'm totally considering it done and it has 600 grams of DK weight, so I'm excited. Okay, next thing on my list was to work on the snowflakes, which are part of my Freaker Frog. I had a big, like a storage bag full of them. There's like 21 or 24 uh, of these snowflakes and I wove in all the ends on a drive. 
um, to acupuncture and so that was exciting. I wasn't driving, I was riding, but it only took one way. I thought I was gonna have to do it there and back, but nope, we pulled into the parking lot at Menards and I was just pulling the last thread through and so those were done. The next thing on my list, I had a long list last week. The next thing was to stay on top of Jolly Joy and Other Junk. I feel like I've been doing pretty good about staying on top of the Jolly Joy and Other Junk things. There's been a video going up every day around the time that I think they should be going up. I'm enjoying the process. I don't know how many people are actually like playing along, but I'm trying to just be okay with that and just continue to put the same amount of effort because I know that at least one person is. So that is, that's good. If you would like to follow along. All my patrons, $2 and up, have access every day to a video, which has been varying in length for somewhere between like five minutes to almost 20 of me talking about, it's like a mini podcast basically. And then I also give you a row every day for a chalet that will be done the week before Christmas. You can basically start whenever you want and then work through those 25 days. The pattern will be available to patrons until New Year's Eve, and then I will be pulling the content down. So if you want to do it, sign up now, get it done. Okay, um, the next two things were to film a Let Peach Pick and a Freaker Frog, and I have not done that yet, but as soon as I turn this camera off, we're filming those for last week's, and we're filming next week's. So... You know, you might not even know the difference. I might even put those up before I put this one up. Movie magic. So that is, that's last week's list. I mean, I feel all right about it. I got a lot of stuff done behind the scenes, a lot of things and projects that I'm not talking about. I have more of those projects than I used to. Um, but I'm happy with, with my progress crafty wise. And I did a bunch of things around my house too when I like reorganized a whole room and the holidays are starting, yada, yada, yada. So, I don't know. I'm going to say last week was all right. This week, I have a, a slightly more manageable list. I think there's five things on it. Now, some of these things are kind of big. The first thing is the bag club for snow, birds, and sweet words, the mystery bag club. Um, they ship this week. And this is the club for December, January, February. So signups have already passed. If you're going to be interested in signing up for the one that goes March, April, May, I will do those signups in February. So uh, keep your eyes out in the shop and my Instagram and stuff around then. So bag club needs to happen. Um, again, to stay on top of Jolly Joy and other junk, because I feel like if I put it on my list, then when I succeed at it, I can check it off. And I would like to be a little bit more on top of it as far as timing, but... I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm being okay with it. It's funny that I set something with time limits because like the week before I was having a conversation with a friend and I told her that like I can make goals and things to do, but I can't like, it just does not work for me to set a time schedule or whatever. And then I try to set a time schedule for myself. Like, what am I thinking? That's a suggestion for you. If you know you are not a good, like, this is the time I need to do things person, then just like do things in a routine. Um, there's a lot of like homeschool like ways you can schedule stuff and some people schedule like blocks where they will spend blocks of time doing different subjects and you get as far as you can each day and then you keep moving from there. Then there's the people who feel like they're going to make a list of like these are the items that we will do and you do them and then they take however long it takes. So if you get them done super quick, you're done super fast. Or if they drag on forever, you might be doing work till who knows when because you're doing everything on that list in the order it says, the way it says. Um, and then there's the idea of like circular planning where you plan like a rotation of items and you kind of know which things you need to do in each area and you just naturally move through each one um, and you set a period of time. Like say you say you're going to work on stuff. I mean... I say this in terms of homeschooling just because that's where I've seen a lot of the information uh, in research and stuff. But the same could totally apply to your crafty life. If you say, I'm going to spend X amount of time. So say, I'm going to say a large number because I spend a lot of hours of my day crafting. I'm going to spend four hours a day crafting stuff, okay? So you could figure out that there are like a number of areas. So like my personal crafting and my business crafting and crafting for other people. 
and crafting that I can't talk about. So there's like four areas. And so in those four areas, you may have a project or five projects or whatever that you have lined up, but you just decide that in your four hours a day, you're gonna like tick through the items and just keep going around and around through the cycle um, within the given period of time. And I think that that is a probably better way for me to look at doing things. It's kind of how things have naturally progressed is that I just kind of know the, the things that I'd like to do and I can't guarantee when I'm going to have the opportunity to get to all of them, but I just try to cycle through and get to all of them eventually in order as time presents itself. If that made any sense, that might've been a really, really long explanation and meaningless to you. The next thing on my list is that I need to make a bingo board for December. I intended to have it out on the first. It didn't happen. Again, I don't really think that many people are playing along necessarily, so I'm not super worried. Maybe I should be more worried. If it came out on the first, would you all like do it if that was a thing? I don't know. But I, I didn't feel like doing it yesterday. Instead, I decorated my living room. <laughs> so uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll make the board. Um, I just need to feel creatively motivated to be punny and stuff and then put it together. But it will be available and when it is, it will be free on Patreon. So if you go to patreon.com slash by happenstance, you will see a post that has it there um, if it exists. When it exists, it will exist. Next thing on my list is that this week I would like to film a podcast. It might not happen tomorrow, it might not happen till Tuesday, but I definitely want to film a podcast because I've actually finished some things that I can show you as opposed to the last few things I finished were secret projects that I couldn't show you, which just doesn't make for a good podcast when everything that you finished you can't show and almost everything you're working on you can't show. There's just not much there. But I do have things done that you can see, so I should film a podcast. And the last thing is that doll from last week, I'd like to finish her because, number one, I just really want to know how long they take me, and number two, I want to have, have the doll done, so... <sighs> that is it. My throat hurts. So I should probably stop talking so I can go film four more videos. I'm really good at not taking on too much. I'm really good at it. <laughs> but I enjoy it. So I'm going to count this as like a fun activity for myself tonight was filming and editing videos. The, the not fun part is how long it takes for the saving process to happen. But that is neither here nor there. I suggest that you take a few moments to sit down with your uh, your thoughts and your week and see what you can get done this week. Are there things from last week that carry over that you'd like to see happen? And maybe consider the idea of like making a list of a number of items that you want to make continued progress on and then kind of cycling through those in your given time. And not even in like a super structured, like I know some people like, I spent 15 minutes and then 15 minutes and then 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be structured. Just be like, huh. Monday, I'm working on this thing. If I still feel like working on it on Tuesday, I'll do that. But if on Tuesday, when I sit down to craft, I don't feel like project number one, then I'll just do project number two and then just keep working your way around. So long as you keep working on the things, they will eventually get done. Alrighty, I will see you all later. Bye!